You probably know Isaac Newton as the guy who discovered gravity by getting smacked in the head with an apple. Cute story, not true. What is true? He basically invented physics as we know it, dabbled in alchemy, tried to decode the Bible and died a virgin. He was a genius, sure, but also intense, paranoid and just a little spooky. Let's talk about the strange, brilliant, and slightly haunted life of Isaac Newton. Early life. Newton was born in 1642, the same year Galileo died. Coincidence? Yes, but poetic. He was a premature baby, born so small he wasn't expected to survive. Spoiler, he did. He was raised by his grandparents after his mother ditched him to remarry. This likely planted the seed for what would become a lifelong love affair with revenge, solitude, and proving everyone wrong. He wasn't a stellar student, but when the plague shut down Cambridge in 1665, Newton went home and basically invented modern science in his mom's garden. You know, like you do, what he discovered. So what did he actually do? Well, he gave us the laws of motion, the rules that govern basically everything that moves. He discovered universal gravitation which explained why planets don't just yeet themselves into space. He built the first reflecting telescope, revolutionizing astronomy. He co-invented calculus. Yes, the thing you pretended to understand in high school. Also, he figured out that white light is made of all colors by sticking a prism in a sunbeam. Because why not blind yourself for knowledge? And the wild part? He figured all this out before turning 30. What were you doing at 23? Newton was casually explaining the cosmos the weird and dark side. But Newton wasn't just a scientific rock star. He was also a deeply weird guy. He was obsessed with alchemy. Yes, turning lead into gold. He filled notebooks with chemical recipes, coded messages and bizarre experiments. He probably poisoned himself with mercury. That may explain a few things. He also believed the Bible contained secret prophecies and spent years trying to decode it. Not metaphorically, like with math and hidden number patterns. He predicted the end of the world in 2060. So, set your calendar. He was extremely paranoid, famously petty, and once spent a decade trying to destroy another scientist's reputation over a minor disagreement. He also ran the Royal Mint and loved catching counterfeiters. He didn't just find them, he had them hanged. Nothing says, I love coins like capital punishment, and yes, he likely died a virgin. Because when you're busy rewriting the universe and hunting criminals, who has time for flirting? So, Isaac Newton, one of the most important minds in human history, who also may have accidentally melted metal in his bedroom while trying to live forever. He gave us gravity, motion, light, calculus, and a glimpse into how genius often comes wrapped in obsession, isolation, and a pinch of madness. He wasn't perfect, but without him, we'd still be guessing why apples fall down instead of up. If you enjoyed this dive into Newton's gloriously weird life, hit like, subscribe, and remember, next time you have an existential crisis, at least you didn't try to predict the apocalypse using Bible math.